Penticton's Ron Gladish, an accomplished painter with the Federation of Canadian Artists, recently took up the challenge to expand his horizon and apply his brush strokes to a different canvas. The local Federation of Canadian Artists had a little competition and we said, let's turn a piece of furniture into a piece of artwork. And so I made a chair. I made a bagpipe chair. And it was extremely popular and... After seeing that, then I realized that maybe there's something here for the Scottish Festival. And I'm not Scottish, but my wife sure is, and she just loves it. And she thought that was a fabulous idea. And that's when I started to, to build other chairs. It was just pretty exciting stuff because everybody goes, ooh, ah, especially if somebody has some Scottish heritage, they, can, they got it. The only thing that, that I would say after doing that first one was when I looked at the photograph after, I had four drones, not three. <laughs> on this chair. So, <laughs> little faux pas. And so, when I started on this chair, I was trying to think, well, what do I what do? I do? What, what kind of pattern do I do? I knew there was one lady that wanted to buy the first chair and she never got a chance. So I hedged my bets a bit when we decided to have this for the Scottish Fest or for the Robbie Burns Night and used her tartan, the Scott tartan. And, uh, it was, it was quite, re, quite rewarding and I have some photographs of the construction of that chair and, and as you can see, it actually was two chairs. I used, salvaged one chair to make the sporin and, and some of the spindles were used to make the tassels on the sporin and then another chair was used to make the bag which is not cloth, it's all carved and painted out of wood and the same with the sporin, it's, it's carved out of wood and made to look like leather. Last night I went on Facebook because I originally posted it on Facebook and it is the image of this chair, my chair, or Beth Scott's chair, has been shared 1100 times around the world. When I first posted it, I was seeing posts from everywhere. Now they don't show where the posts are from anymore because there's just too many. And there's at least five copies out there of my chair, my design, which is really quite flattering. You know, it's, it's all over the world. Uh, some of them, of course, make it look like it's their own, but it's, it's nice that little Penticton has got some history. Moving on to the, the next chair, it, again, it was for Robbie Burns night and I was, I was kind of stuck as to what tartan to use because I didn't have a target. And I thought, why not Robbie Burns? So I came and talked to the McPhails about what tartan to use. And of course, there are several Burns tartans and we chose the more traditional one. And I decided to not use the seat as the bag for the bagpipes, but actually make a set of bagpipes out of wood that sit in a chair, use Robbie Burns tartan. It's all wood. It's all carved wood. Like I said, lots of hours in there. And then I did put a bit of poetry on, on the top written by Robbie Burns. And I won't read it because my accent's awful. <laughs> but uh, basically to tie it in with Robbie Burns Night. The drones are actually staves off another chair. So this again has two chairs in it. And so uh, I'm kind of a, a scrounger. I like to go to the restores and the secondhand stores. And, and that's where I find the chairs. So, you know, I'm not much money in there for 10 or 15 dollars to buy a couple of chairs that look like they have some possibilities and that's what I've done. There's two chairs in each of these. Uh, I have to modify them most times. Like this chair is a lot shallower than it normally would be because otherwise it would be quite big. So to fit the bag I just shortened the chair, shortened the handles and uh, did lots of woodwork. I did used to do some bird carving, realistic bird carvings when I was younger and and a uh, pretty avid hunter. And so that gave me the confidence to be able to carve things like uh, the bag for the bagpipes. It's quite rewarding in itself. You do get kind of tired of it. So you, I mean, you work on it for a few hours and then you put it aside and then maybe a week goes by before you pick it up again. Especially when you're painting the tartans on because there are so many colors in there and so many different lines. Uh, you know, you have to look at the overlap of the patterns and which thread goes over top of which other thread and it's it's really complex so you actually have to have a piece of the tartan right there 
to be able to distinguish what the pattern is like to get all the lines properly. So is chair making uh, going to continue? You know, that's, that's a pretty good question. I, I said to Paul after I did the second chair, I said, I'm not going to do any more. It's just too much time. And I said it after I did this chair, and now I'm undecided. <laughs> it's likely. I use other mediums. I paint in acrylics and do a lot of landscapes here. I'm represented at a gallery in Penticton, Long Gallery. So I have some of my artwork in there. You know, but this thing is just kind of a fun thing to me. It was fun to create, although it was tedious. It was the reward at the end, like seeing the response of the audience at Robbie Burns Night just warms your heart.